The report of the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, released on May the 6th this year, puts the number of people in need of assistance in the northeast region of Nigeria, which increased from 7.1 million in 2019 to 7.9 million in 2020. Due to a decade-long conflict in the region, houses, schools, healthcare facilities, water, electricity, roads and other rural infrastructures have been destroyed, leaving thousands homeless. For these reasons, the federal government, through the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, has commenced reconstruction of about 10,000 housing units for displaced persons in Borono State. 10,000 housing units will be spread across the 10 local government areas of the state. And each house will cost the government about 2 million naira, which is very uh, um, modest. The project starts with a 100 units in Guam village of Mafa local government area and will be executed by the Northeast Development Commission. After all the distractions and what I've been doing earlier on in terms of humanitarian, we are now going into the web of providing development. And as I said earlier, the, the housing is very important because we need to take people back to wherever comfortable, especially the houses. So this is where we formally launch since the president approved 10,000 houses of Borno State, and now we are starting the process. As the counter-terrorism war rages, the internally displaced persons in Borno State are hopeful that the project will be completed in good time and not abandoned like many other projects in the country.